Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me again today. I have so enjoyed doing these live presentations. Um, they're a little disconcerting at first, but I'm getting more comfortable and I'm really happy to have you here. Do you realize that we are reaching almost the end of October? OMG, it's so amazing. The year has just flown by. How is your business doing? We were not expecting another year under so many difficult logistical kinds of things that we needed to be doing. But here they are, and this is what they're what they're going to be for a while. Now, there's really good news on the horizon. I don't know if you're reading my blogs um, and getting my emails. If not, be sure to let us know and get signed up for them. You can certainly reach me at businessbeyondtheshoebox.com to join on to blogs, to get any of the content and such that I have available for you. But every time there's a major event, particularly on a global scale, the opportunities for businesses are absolutely huge. They're gigantic, but you have to be ready for them. Everyone says in hindsight, I wish I knew I would have done X, Y, and Z. Are you ready for making 2022 a much better year for your business? It really takes doing that. Now, I promise to tell you something about how to get on to create a um, revenue strategy, not a revenue strategy, but a, a financial game plan for yourself. It's built on revenue strategies. So that's where that little reminder in my head came up from. But a financial game plan is really kind of your roadmap that you're going to follow. Now, it does not have to be super tight. OK, it can be fairly flexible and loosely structured. But you do have to have one. Now, one of the things I talk about all the time for people is I talk about making a cupcake. After all, if you want to have a successful cooking event, like a cupcake, you have to have a good idea what that's going to look like for you. Is it going to have a gold foil wrapper? Is it going to be chocolate with vanilla frosting with sprinkles? What does that actually look like for you? Do you have all the ingredients to make a cupcake? Do you have all the other components to make a cupcake? Stop and think about it. Well, you would need uh, an oven and a pan and the ingredients, or at least a boxed mix. You need the stuff for the frosting. You need the spoons and the spatulas. And the list can get fairly long. Now, if you've done it before, it's pretty easy for you. You do it pretty much without thinking. Now, businesses that have been a in a business for a while, three years or longer, are starting to have a good sense and a good rhythm of what it takes to be doing every day to be making money. But if you are still in those early stages of your business and you have not figured out how you're going to make enough money, and making enough money means you're bringing in enough revenue income to support all of your business expenses and have money left over. But there's more to that. So the very first thing that you need to have in order to have a, you know, a financial game plan is to actually know how much revenue you need, not to just support your business, but to also support your personal household needs. And this is a big missing for people because they don't always think about it in those terms. So you have two primary numbers that you need to figure out. One is your personal financial floor, the money that you need for your household to pay all of your obligations, bills, groceries, car payment, insurance, property taxes, whatever you need, you need all of that collected up into one number. This number is going to be on a yearly basis. So look at your monthly stuff, look at your bank statements, look at your credit card statements, see how you're spending your money. Okay. Look at it from a year perspective. What else do you need? Because some of those things you only pay once a year. So find out what that number is. Now I have some great tools to help you. The income calculator has been out there for 10 years. 
But one of the things that I find is that when people first download it, they can get kind of confused or derailed or even scared about doing it. If you need help, please reach out to me and let's get you the support that you need to do that. But by all means, if you're a DIY kind of um, entrepreneur, which most of you are, then that download it and start working with it. Figure out what your personal financial floor is. The other big number that you need is you need your business's financial floor. That's all the money that you need to keep your business up and running on a daily basis, monthly basis, yearly basis. Marketing, operational expenses, inventory purchases, um, the utilities, the cable, the insurance, the payroll if you have it. You need all of those numbers. You'll go to your profit and loss statement to find that out. Please, 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 if you are not running your business by the numbers, it is high time you started doing it. The only way you're going to get your business out of a shoebox is to start having regular financial tasks. Now, that can be very scary for people. And I have developed a course to make that a lot easier for you. It's called the 20 Minute CFO Program. And I'm going to give you a little bit more information on that towards the end of my presentation. But please know that it's easy to find me. It's the 20 Minute CFO. If you are spending 20 minutes a day looking after the financial health of your business, it would make a difference for you in ways that you cannot yet know. So we put together all the expenses and things that we know for your business. Now we have two big numbers. We have your personal financial expenses and we have your business expenses. You add those two together and you've created an annual number. But there's more to it than that. To have a business and a life we love, you really want to be making enough money to take vacations, to have extra money in reserve, to do things that you want or set money aside for retirement, the list can be fairly long. At first, it can feel very overwhelming. But when broken down into monthly, weekly, daily numbers, it gets so much easier. So the income calculator will help you with that as well and how to determine your revenue targets. So here are the first two ingredients that you need to make your financial game plan, okay? Calculate your personal income needs, your business income needs, okay? Make your calculation and then determine your revenue targets. Your revenue targets are your go for numbers. Now, once you have those, you can implement the three primary uh, pillar types of revenue strategies that support all businesses. They're lateral, spiral, and funnel. And I've got time to give you a little information on them. Lateral is where you're working and getting paid for by the hour. Great formula. It works for every business and is certainly one that most people know and use in the earlier days of their business. However, my favorite one is Spiral. Spiral says, you know what, I have some high ticket items, but I, you know what, I can have some lower ticket items that maybe get people to know me a little bit, trust me, and, and remember me when something else comes up for them. So Spiral says, I'm going to have several different packages or products that people can buy from me and one is going to be on that lower end and then I might have some things that are more expensive but you want to be sure that you actually design that you want to think about it and here again this is where some people get really stuck and where having a coach or a consultant can make a huge difference for you. It is one of my areas of genius and I love, love working with people and helping them to design and create and implement these kinds of revenue strategies. Funnel is a, think of subscription, think of apps. It's a great revenue strategy 
can easily drive seven, eight figure incomes, but it is not something you will probably do in the early stages of your business. You can certainly do lateral and spiral quite easily. They're easy to design and implement. Funnel is a little more complex. Not undoable, but it's just more complex. Has a few more moving parts. More on the tech side. Okay, now you start to design your financial game plan. You know what your revenue needs are. You know what your targets are. You've got some revenue strategies that are going to work for your business. Okay, now we start to design a financial game plan. So this is you're going to start spreading your strategies over time, whether it's six months, 12 months, or 18 months. Now, those are the traditional um, timelines that most businesses function under. But I want you to know that people who have done the 20-minute CFO program with me saw results in 90 days or less. That's three months because they were focused. They had the information. They had the tools. They developed the skills that they were going to need, and they were able to implement them at a much faster pace. I do have clients that produced results in two weeks. Six weeks is completely within the norm. But it depends on what you're already doing and how busy you already are, whether or not you can implement some of those things that fast. But I have to tell you, the tips and the techniques that I work with my clients on, they always produce results. So you design, you take your revenue strategies and you start building out your financial targets over time. Now, this is going to be done over projections. You're going to break down your annual needs into your time frame so that you start knowing what your targets are on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Daily and weekly produce the best results consistently across the board. It changes your performance, your behavior like nothing else will. Okay? It's amazing what it causes you to do. You become more focused. You start your day paying attention to what's revenue relevant for you. You get excited. You get enthusiastic. You start loving your business because you start seeing the results. So do some projections figure out where you want to be, and then develop an action plan. Now, I have a formula out there that I give people all the time. It's one of my favorites, and it's well-loved by my audience, and it's the word cause, C-A-U-S-E. We cause our life. In short, it looks like this, clarity. What's the problem? What do I want to do? What do I need to do? Action. What am I going to do about it? Okay, upgrade. Upgrade is, I don't know if you hear yourself say, I don't know how you need an upgrade. You need a tech upgrade. You need a skills upgrade. Maybe you need some support. Maybe you need a coach or a consultant to help you. The upgrade is when you hear yourself, I don't know how to, and then you're going to need help. Don't stop there. Get the help. That becomes your clarity action. Go get the help you need. S is for structure. One of the biggest breakdowns I find for entrepreneurs is that their structure is too loose to hold them accountable. Most of the DIY people I know hold themselves accountable in a big way, but they can get into overwhelm. They can get into stress and then they worry about it and then they stop taking action. So structure helps you. It's a calendar, folks. It's no more complicated than that. A calendar. What am I going to do today to help my business tomorrow? Pretty easy. And then E, that stands for emotional. Every business owner I have ever worked with has hit the wall from time to time because there's this little voice in the back of their heads, or they may even have it from their past. Parents, family, friends can say some things that really undermine our sense of well-being, our sense that we are competent and capable and that we can trust ourselves. When you start working with cause, 
you will hit that emotional piece over and over and over again. Because as you grow, you're scraping away layers like on an onion and you're getting down to the nitty gritty and you will find that you can trust yourself to move forward. If you find that you're not moving forward, go back to the first part of the word cause, clarity. What's in your way? And then address it with action, upgrades, and structure. Okay? Now, then you're going to implement your plan with daily, daily revenue relevant activities. That means that things that push your business forward, you're going to spend that time on every single day day. Yes, I take Saturdays and off, Sundays off, and sometimes I might even take a Monday or a Friday, but I am regularly working on my business. Why? Because I'm excited about my business. I enjoy my business. My clients are always thinking about how their business can be a success because it's such a big part of their lives, and that's why it's so important that we love our businesses. And then guess what's going to happen? you're going to start seeing results. You're going to start producing revenue because you're paying attention to it. It's now a priority for you. And for some people, making your money a priority feels kind of off. And that's an emotional piece. And it certainly needs to be addressed. You want to find out what is keeping you from playing small. What are you afraid of? What do you feel is going to happen? Really start looking at that, okay? Because it, it can be something that is undermining your success. And there you have it. You have all the pieces that you need in order to start building and implementing a financial game plan for your business. Spend some time now. 2022 is going to be here before you know it. And the future is very, very bright for businesses. We have always seen during chaos and turmoil and transition that businesses and business owners do very, very well. So now is the time to embrace this. So again, I'm going to talk a little bit about the 20-minute CFO program that I have available. Way too many people think that they have to spend hours and hours and hours on the financial part of their business. And if you ignore it every single day, come April, March, April, you are going to spend hours on it. Your books are not going to be up to date. Your paperwork is going to be an absolute disaster. You're not going to have any way to know how your business did. And now you're all you're doing is scrambling to manage your taxes. And that just scares people. Why not pay a little attention to it every single day? Every single day, 20 minutes a day. And if you find that you're resisting it, well, then do it first thing in the morning, folks. Eat the frog. Get it over with. Do the work so that you can actually move your business forward. So this program is on demand at your own pace modules that are going to cover all of the basic skills that business owners must have if they're going to take their business beyond the shoe back box. We are going to talk about the emotional pieces. We're going to talk about the tools. We're going to talk about tax taxes. We're going to talk about bookkeeping basics. We covers all of that. And then it includes some group coaching opportunities so that you can ask your questions in real time. So that you don't need to be concerned about what doesn't seem to be fitting into place for you. So I really want you to take a look at it. It can be found at Business Beyond the Shoebox. You just click on the growth button and it is the 20 minute CFO, which is a group program. However, if you would like one on one coaching, I still do that. And there are various programs there for you as well. So I'm so glad that you spent the time today. I hope that you found this useful. I trust that you did. 
please take the time, write down some of these things that you need to know, go over there, grab some tools, sign up for my blogs, but don't wait any longer. The next three months are going to fly by and 2022 is going to be here before you know it. And those businesses that are going to thrive, okay, are those that are going to be out in front of it and actually have a financial game plan in place so that they know what they need to be doing on a daily basis. Have a great day. Enjoy the fall. It's absolutely gorgeous here. I live in Southern California and we're expecting rain, which is a big thing. It's that wet stuff that comes from the sky that we don't see it here very often. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'm Lorna Whitaker and I'm signing off. Bye.